this is the same uh, the same vehicle. It's a 2008 Toyota Highlander, and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be changing the, the air filter as well as the cabin filter. So um, uh, let me get underneath the hood. You're going to basically need a uh, 10 millimeter uh, ratchet with a little extension, and we're going to take the cover off and we're going to pull that filter out. So uh, let me grab some tools. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's a fairly easy job. It's really not that complicated. Main thing is you want to make sure whatever you take off that you put back on, because you don't want to have any uh, any vacuum leaks or anything like that from these hoses. Uh, we're going to take out this screw here, and there's also another screw down in the back down here. It's a 10 millimeter. We're going to take that out also, and then we're just going to lift this up to get the filter out. So uh, let me uh, let me set you up over here, and I'll show you how it's going to go. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take out those bolts that I, that I mentioned to you, the 10 millimeters. We're going to remove those two and uh, pull that filter out of there. You can see a little better there. They'll loosen up, but they won't come out. filter assembly up here. Now remember we talked about these vacuum lines here, just take the vacuum lines off. Remember where you're taking them off from because they have to go back on in the same location. And we don't want to stretch this this cable right here either. So what we're going to do is this is for the uh, mass mass airflow sensor right here. What we're going to do is you push down on this little tab here, push it down, and you just rock it back and forth and it comes right off. This way we don't stretch that harness and break it. All right, so we're just going to relocate that for the side there, and then just lift this up so you can get to the filter like this, and then we'll take that filter out. So uh, let me do that. I'm going to need two hands, and I'll show you how that comes out of there. We lift this up, and we just take the filter out, and I'll get the replacement and put the replacement back in. Remember how you take it out? because there's only one way you can go in. This corner here is a little bit different than any other corner, so that's the way we're going to put it back in. All right, let me grab the new filter, and we'll, uh, we'll wrap this job up. And I do want to point out, you're probably looking at this filter saying, wow, it doesn't look dirty, because this is the part that's actually filtering. This is the part underneath here that's filtering the air before it goes up inside the engine. So that's why we're, that's why we're replacing this filter, because as you can see, there's a lot of debris inside these, uh, this filter here. So, all right, let me grab the new one, and uh, we'll slap this job together and get it out the door. Okay, now we've got the replacement filter. Remember what we talked about with the end here? That this end has to be on this side here, so we're going to put it in the same way as it came out. Okay, just lift it up. Slide the filter all the way in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to Come underneath here, let me show you. Make sure that your filter goes back into these pieces right here. It's got to go underneath. It's hard to do with one hand, but this piece here has to go down like that. And the same thing in the back right there. And you push it down into place, and then we just tighten up these two bolts right here. So uh, let me just do that. Make sure you hold it down, and then we'll just screw these two screws in place. They don't have to be real tight, you're just going to snug them down. Same thing in the back right here. Okay. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reconnect 
the hoses that we previously took out. This one right here goes on there. This goes on here. And then we're going to reattach our mass airflow sensor here. And you listen for it to snap in. That's it. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that nothing else came off by accident when you were down inside there. Um, because I've seen it already where uh, sometimes a hose gets knocked off, but in this case, everything is in place where it belongs. And uh, that's it, we're all done. All right, not too bad when you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.